Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the new series uh, that we have just launched for the multi vendor e commerce website. Okay, so this series is just for the add on features that we are going to integrate for our Laravel 9 as well as the Laravel 10 multi vendor e commerce website. And also, we are going to resolve uh, the bugs in this series. Okay, so there are few videos that will come uh, and uh, we are going to upgrade some of the features as well. Okay, so so this is the multi vendor e commerce website uh, that we are working on. Okay, so uh, so in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to update the vendors commission order wise. So there is one bug you can see. Uh, the uh, I'm going to explain you that what is the bug exactly. See, I'm going to the admin panel here. Okay, and I'm going to open. Uh, okay, I'm going to open the vendors admin panel. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, open the any of the vendors and panel and here I'm going to check out the vendors account here okay uh, so these are the vendors I'm going to open this one this test 2425 the vendor account I'm going to log out and we log in with the vendor account okay so uh, I'm going to check the vendors orders now and here I will go to the order management and will check out its order and here I'm going to check the last order that is uh, having the 73 ID okay so I'm going to open its uh, details as well okay so here you can see the commission is 24 okay so I'm going to check the this vendor commission this vendor commission is uh, here you can see the vendor commission is 2% okay so if in case in future the admin updates the vendor commission to 5% okay so what will happen this is the old order see uh, this commission must not reflect it to the old order but here if we will refresh here you can see the commission also update so that is wrong because commission can't update for the old orders because at that time when the order get placed the commission was two percent and now it has come to the five percent so five percent is applicable only for the new orders not the old orders okay so this is the major issue we can say uh, uh major bug okay and uh, we need to resolve it straight away uh, so see here uh, i am going to make it uh, two once again uh, this one i am going to make it two once again and here you can see this uh, uh, one again reflected back to the 24 so for this we need to add we need to update the uh, order and scope products table and here we need to add the commission column uh, like we have the commission column here here also we require the commission column in which we are going to add the percentage of commission uh, and uh, that uh, we are going to check at the time of the order placement and that is fixed okay uh, so that no one can change uh, so that commission column we are going to add after the tracking number in the same way like we have added here in the vendors uh, commission as float and here also see we can add with the help of the migration as well we can update the table we can add uh, the column with the help of migration but now we don't have that much time so i'm going to add from here okay so after tracking number i'm going to add here the commission column with the float value okay so i'm going to take the value as float so let's save it and now uh, uh what i'm going to do i'm going to now update here i'm going to open the products controller here okay in which uh, we are going to check uh, the checkout function in the products controller at the front uh, in the checkout function we are going to modify see at the time of order placement we need to fill up this commission and uh, i'm also will open the vendor model okay so we are already having the get vendor commission that we are going to call uh, whenever we will place the order here we are placing the order so after identifying uh, that there is the vendor the order is going to place by the vendor i'm going to uh, add one check here uh, to check that whether uh, the order is going to be placed by the vendor if the order is going to be placed by the vendor like i'm going to check here uh, vendor id is greater than zero okay so it means the, the order is getting placed uh, uh, from vendor so here i'm going to add here uh, going to check uh, going to call that function uh, in the vendor model i'm going to call that function uh, that is the get vendor commission and in this function we are going to send the vendor id 
uh, this is the vendor id that we are going to send to fetch the commission of that particular vendor and if there is some commission uh, uh, then it's fine then we are going to save this commission in our database okay straight away we are going to save this commission in our table order underscore plex table this vendor commission i'm going to save okay and and if no commission is set then it will be zero here you can see we will assign it as zero if there is no vendor commission added by the admin okay so here we are going to add the vendor commission so after this we will also modify in the order details uh, blade file uh, in admin uh, where we are calling that commission i'm going to search here commission once again and uh, here i'm going to check see uh, this commission uh, we are calling but we are not required to call we will straight away use the commission that is added in the order underscore plex table okay uh, so uh, instead of uh, this get vendor commission uh, we will uh, fetch it from the dollar product and commission here like this okay so like we uh, fetching the other fields here we will uh, simply add the product commission so now we are going to check this one see here uh, we are going to check now uh, see we will call from the order product. i'm going to place the new order okay so earlier order will nothing will happen uh, with the earlier order but we are going to place the new order and i am going to check for this uh, the products of this uh, vendor so that i can place the order for that and can test it okay so i'm going to check for its products so this is the ninth id of the vendor and this one uh, is the eighth product i'm going to place the order for the eighth product and let's see uh, i'm going to place the new order and i'm going to log in in one of the user id i'm going to log in so let's log in i'm going to check that the user id one of the user id i'm going to log in with that is activator uh, so i'm going to log in with the, this id okay i'm going to log in and let's see i'm going to log in let's log in one two three four five six okay so after login i'm going to remove all the products first of all and see okay are you sure okay some error is coming we are going to see that what error is coming exactly are you sure you want to delete this item okay then some error is coming i'm going to see what error is coming here i'm going to inspect it let work and here click on delete okay some error is coming okay so i'm going to check out undefined array key currency okay so it is saying that undefined array key currency here in press controller under front i'm going to check out uh, press controller uh, line number 432 so that we can resolve it see when we code there is some ref reflection can come okay we need to test the other code as well that there must be no reflection anywhere okay 432 here it is currency okay so if there is no currency then we need to set the currency as by default uh, data currency okay so there is no currency set so that's why okay uh, and if there is no currency if uh, uh, if, if it's not empty then uh, then it's fine otherwise we will set the currency as the INR okay default currency, currency is the INR rupees so we are going to set the currency as sorry so here uh, we are going to check out the currencies once a okay, currency here uh, see i'm going to check out here it's inr okay so i'm going to uh, make it inr here okay so let's see so i'm going to check it now i'm going to add and remove and then uh, we will see if there is if there any error comes okay i'm going to add any of the product right now see product id is the uh, eighth id product we are going to add but uh, right now we are just uh, check this issue must not come 
small add to card see view card now i will try to delete this one okay so no error comes this time so it's fine now okay so now i'm going to add the product with the eighth id so this is the vendor product that i want to add i'm going to place the order for this product okay view card proceed to checkout and here see i'm going to select uh, cash on delivery uh, and see here now see the uh, vendor commission is i'm going to check the vendor commission straight away uh, first of all i'm going to check the vendor commission here and the vendor commission uh, for the user this one is two right now so it will fix two it will not update okay so uh, let's place the order now so the new order commission must go uh, must be two okay so the order underscore products table must be updated with the two commission it is sending email so that's why it is taking some time so we are going to check the order underscore products uh, okay so i'm going to close this one uh, see i want to uh, tell you that uh, xavier is the uh, xavier is the genius member uh, okay uh, who uh, who has done an excellent job for identifying this issue and now uh, we are resolving this with the help of xavier thanks xavier uh, for helping us to resolve this uh, issue uh, okay to identify this issue so that we can able to resolve it okay so we are uh, going to resolve the other issues as well if any of the member want to join as a superior or genus member you can always join as a superior or genus member and ask if anything you will find here we we're going to resolve and if any new feature you uh, want then we are going to uh, we are going to check that whether that new feature is feasible if that is feasible then we are going to add it okay so you can always join as a uh, superior or genus member and ask your feature to add so that i can check at my end okay so now see i'm going to see here uh, uh okay so uh see order has been placed i'm i'm checking this one order products okay i'm going to check out the last row uh okay i'm going to see the commission must be filled with the two uh, yes commission is filled with the two now okay so i'm going to check the orders now okay new order must have come uh, with the 74th id that is fine okay new order has come with the 74th id and i'm going to check its detail now and here it's the 20 commission because the total price is thousand two percent of thousand is 20 so it is fine so now i am going to update the vendor commission like suppose the admin updates the vendor commission to five okay then it must not update to 50 it must not update the vendor commission for this order so let's see uh, now the commission must not update uh, so i'm going to refresh it and we'll see the commission is has not been updated okay you can see it's still 20 because we have freezed it okay we have freeze it by adding it in the order underscore products table okay so now uh, whatever the admin uh, will do with the commission of the vendor like whatever he updates there is no effect to the old orders now this five percent commission will get affected for the new orders only whatever the new orders will come for this vendor uh, the commission uh, will be five percent for those okay not for the old orders so we able to resolve this issue okay so uh, see if i'm going to place this order once again see it will be 50 commission okay so if you want that i will place it once again i will go to that product once again product 8 and we'll place the another order so that uh, you can able to check that for the new order the commission is different okay and here i am going to see this is the 1200 no no i am going to pick the same i am going to pick the small only okay so that you can compare both the orders and i am going to remove the large size okay i large size uh, and also i am going to test it like no issue must come okay right now no issue is coming okay proceed to check out and now i am going to place the another order and i hope this time the commission is more five percent so 50 commission must come 
so let's see it is sending email so that's why it is some taking some time okay so we are going to check out uh, the new order now i will go here see 75th order id it has come up for the new order okay that is placed by us and now we are going to check uh, the commission for the new okay so it's the 50 commission for the new and now i'm going to check the old order as well okay that commission is 20 for the old order uh, for this 74th order id the commission must be 20 only okay so it must not update to 50 and here you can see the commission is still 20 for the old order and for the new order the commission is 50 for the same product so for the same vendor product okay so we able to resolve this issue resolve this bug and you can also uh, update it at your end uh, that's all for now we will come up with the new video in this add-on feature this is mandatory to watch this series this is very very important laravel multi-vendor add-on feature series and you can always join as a member uh, to ask for your feature for joining as a member i will tell you once again youtube.com stack developer you can simply open this channel and you can always join as a member click on this one and you can always join as a member and there are many memberships and if you will join as a speeder or genus member then you can ask for your feature to get it added okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye